This is tutorial number seven, how to add extra functionality to actions. So you can currently see the today screen looks a little bit bland. There's no way of easily identifying at a quick glance which button does what. So you would remember from one of the previous tutorials, I made study on change my study lights to a sort of fuchsia color. So we can, for example, adjust the today screen button to reflect the color that it will change the lights to. So you can press study on and you can pick the today screen configuration and that allows us to pick the recent color and the alpha of the button um, and whether you show it on the today screen no or yes that's useful sometimes if you've got an action that you want to be called via a beacon or a schedule that you don't want to appear as a regular button <coughs> so we'll press add to action if I go to edit that again you'll see that the button is now white um, it's white because there's um, some today configuration attached to it. So if we go ahead and pull the list down, you'll see that now has the fuchsia pink image, and that will be there always. Um, the first time you see it update, it's just because it has to has to rebuild the menu. Um, so that's now on. So you can very quickly see what you are what you're pressing at at, at a glance. So some of the other features we have here, um, we can pick a schedule. So if you were going to go out for the evening. Um, you could say you want to turn the lights off, you know, you could leave them on when you go out, turn them off at 10.30. So um, you'd create an off action and we don't want it to repeat at all. So you just press add to action. So we could then edit that to um, do whatever we want. So you, you could have them turn on, for example, at a certain time as well. So if you wanted them to turn um, turn on, that would that would work. So, um, to remove the schedule, you can just press remove action, remove from action, and it's gone. So, now for the beacon information. If you don't know, beacons are Bluetooth low energy transmitters that the app can pick up on and call an action when it's based on, uh, when it finds them. So, I have one from Radius Networks, just plugged into my iPhone charger that I have plugged into the wall here. So, when I walk into my study, it calls the action that the beacon information is attached to. So you can see the format that beacon information is. It's 8 by 4 by 4 by 4 by 12 um, and the values range from 8 to F, 0 to 9 I believe. Um, this screen is more for if you if you have a beacon you'll understand it. If you don't have one you can probably give it a bit of a wide berth I would imagine. Um, so you'd enter your, your version number, your, your minor, your major and your beacon ID and you say whether you want to trigger when you enter the region or you exit. Now as this is for the lights on, you want it to trigger on enter. Um, if you had one for the study lights off, you'd have that trigger on exit. Um, I can't add it to the action because I don't have um, the, the correct data inputted at the moment. But that is how you would add extra functionality to actions.